All right, let's try this again. How is the sound now? Is it any better? It's always a party at Patchworks. Let's get this party started. Hoot, hoot. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight. My name is Julie and we are at Patchworks in southeastern Wisconsin. We have some amazing, amazing things and we have some really great fabric to share with you. We have Julie Herman fabrics, not fabrics, Julie Herman quilts to share with you. We have the night sky pattern that I had a couple weeks ago that I showed you, but we also have some more stuff we're gonna talk about with that. And then today I got Julie's uh, fussy cutting shapes trunk show that we're gonna show you as well. Those quilts are gonna be with us through the month of May. The night sky will have to go back to California to her, but that's all right because we're going to be making our own as well. Ooh, uh, we have a bundle of the week. We have another installment of Glimmer and Gleam to be sharing with you. So, oh my goodness, uh, we have a books ahead book bag pick up on Saturday and tomorrow night we are going to have our skinny bolt online sale so lots and lots and lots of fun things to share with you so let's get started with some amazing fabric that I have um, to share with you and this is some let me see if I can make this go away this little graphic below Oh goodness, we have all the stuff here. Okay, so we have a color collage fabric. <gasps> Ooh, so this fabric here, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really, really love all these super cool, I, it's collage, that's the, so Tim Holtz does it, Kathy Holden does it, um, it has all this ephemera stuff and it's just all mixed together. And this particular line by Shelley Davis of for Northcott here, we have 11 amazing prints. Now this one here, this is a rainbow. So it goes from pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, okay? gorgeous 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 and what i was actually thinking is that this could even work super well with the robin pickens pattern that we had shown with her wild blossoms fabric um, i'm just grabbing it off the peg to share with you so i thought that uh, if you were looking for something a little bit more um, non-florally you could use the joyful trio pattern and use this rainbow piece of fabric here for your center. I think that could be super, super cool. So anyhow, just some inspiration and fun. Uh, so this is the signature rainbow piece. We also then have each of the color stories as their own separate pieces. So we have a pink and a red. an orange, yellow, and each of these have different objects in them to be able to uh, really, for describing the color. We have green, and blue. Okay, we're running out of room here. I'll show you the violet and then we'll go to the other multi pieces. Can you see the violet here? We cannot, the violet. So one of the things that's super cool is in each of the pieces, we do have the color words in addition to all of these really cool collage -y things. So I love it. You can do some great fussy cutting. 
You know, I don't do things with the Laura Heine patterns, but I think that this could be really, really fun for all of those fun cut up collage things. So take collage fabrics to cut up for that. I think that could be spectacular. Um, then we have a couple more, we have a couple multicolor prints and then we have a um, black and white. So let me just remove these over here. We did not do fat quarter bundles or half yard bundles of these because they are so amazing and you would need more than just a fat quarter to just appreciate this beautiful fabric. So and then we have so we have this one here and this one is air water colorway. This is earth colorway, so perfect follow up for our Earth Day weekend, right? It's just Earth Month. And then we do have our more neutral colors here. So this is our black and white, but there is a little bit of color in there. So love, 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 love. So, and um, yes, you could make all sorts of great, th so you could have, so S Cynthia says this would have made a great vest for color days and it would be a great busy backing. It could also make fun project bags. So, so, so much fun. So this is on the front page of our website. We do have the, I'm gonna give you the link here to the whole collection on the front page of our website. And this is super fun. Northcott has a free and downloadable pattern for you as well. I'm gonna share my screen to share that with you. It's called Going Up, which is fun. Let me just come back and turn that page on so that you can see it. Look at that. So on the Northcott page, so Northcott doesn't have a lot of free patterns. And so this one makes giant Hasker triangles. So I'm not able to see, show you my pointer here, my cursor, but if you can look in the upper corner, um, you can see that there's pink and then purple. Okay, so there'd be, imagine four rows across, okay? Or four, four blocks across, giant half square triangles. And here you can see them a little bit better, okay? So that can be super, super, super fun playing with the different colors of the fabric. So lots and lots of fun things you could do there. Oh, and Lori says, you know, you could use the pieces and do an I spy kind of quilt. That could be super fun to be able to just pull out the super different pieces and just play with that. So that one is great. All right. So that is Color Collage 2. Apparently there had been a Color Collage 1, which we didn't get. Um, but I think that Color Collage 2 has to just blow color collage one out of the water. I'm certain of it. It makes me want to go into all of my ephemera uh, at home and just lay things out and take pictures of everything. Doesn't it make you want to do that as well? Ugh. I love, love, love all the little found items. Frank can attest to that um, because I just love being able to take all those, collect all those fun things. And so Frank, this is, this is what we do with those things. We collect them so that someday we can lay them out and take pictures of them. That's what we do. Next up, I want to share with you the, all of that we're gonna talk next about the gorgeous quilts that I have here. So I was super excited that we got all of these great quilts to share with you. Uh, it's really an honor to be able to be on the designers lists, to be able to share these quilts with all of you in our store. And I had done a presentation yesterday at Common Threads guild in menominee falls and so thank you so much if any of you are watching i had a great time with you yesterday doing a presentation and a workshop and we did it on this quilt 
I have a couple or another quilt to show you. I'm also going to show you a little bit about that block. But then today we did get our regularly scheduled trunk show, which was for the fussy cutting shapes. So thank you to Julie and Rachel over at Jaybird Quilts for making that happen. How many of you are familiar with Jaybird quilt patterns and tools? Give us a like, comment, let us know if you've made anything. We have in her, with her different projects, she has some tools that she has specially designed in order to go with her projects. And the super cool thing about her rulers are that they are designed to go with strips of fabric, uh, they're sized to the size that you cut your strips, and the different shapes all go together really, really well. So if you wanna make a small one, you follow one strip size. If you want to make a large quilt, you can choose a different strip size and things magically go together. So I love her engineering mind and how simple her tools are to use. So first she had created a sidekick and a hex and more. And this was back, oh my goodness, like in 2012 and 2013. Okay, so this was the first one she created. And this one, you have hexagons, you have equilateral triangles, you have a half hex, and then you have this jewel shape here that is the full ruler. All of them are multi-sized. In 2013, which is when this pattern came out, she had designed the sidekick ruler that does diamonds, equilateral triangles, and then half equilateral triangles. But, you know, this one here, you could do strip sizes up to eight and a half inches. And this one, you could only do strip sizes up to four and a half inches. So she had to release the big sister of the sidekick, which is the super sidekick. And this one is awesome. So everything you can do with the sidekick, you can do with the super sidekick and more. So you're able to match all the shapes of the hex and more with the size of all of the shapes in the super sidekick. So if you can only get two, you're going to want both of these. But if you want to collect them all, make sure you get the original, the mini hex and more, which is a great keychain, but also perfect for making uh, small miniatures. And then her latest gadget that she just released that we've talked about uh, for quite some time is the Jaybird Fussy Cutting Shapes. So I have an open set here of the Fussy Cutting Shapes. And Frank, let's look overhead at this. So we have six different tools in our fussy cutting shapes. So we have a hexagon, we have a diamond, we have a half hex, we have an equilateral triangle, we have a half triangle, and then a larger half triangle, okay? So these four are designed to work with two and a half inch strips, size strips, so this could work with uh, cutting off of a jelly roll or what it also works great for is fussy cutting things. So let's just look ahead at one of the fabrics I'm going to show you in a little bit. And let's say you wanted to take, oh, I don't know, you wanna center these sets of ghosts here, okay? And so you're able to, there's a center spot right here to be able to center it. And then you'd be able to cut around it. Now this is a bad color since you can't see around, uh, since I have a black background. One of the cool things about these shapes are that the dark color here uh, masks where your seam allowance is. So that if you cut the shape, you'll see that this part of it is not gonna be seen. Okay, so better illustrated on lighter fabric, 
but you can get the gist of it and you can either use this for fussy cutting or you can use these shapes simply for cutting the shapes that you need out of a strip of fabric. So everything that you can do with these, you can absolutely do with the original shapes. It just, if you're fussy cutting, fussy cutting can be much easier if you have a special size of template just like that, okay? Make sense? All right. Whew. So now that I have shown you what the tools are, let's take a peek at the quilts that I have to share with you. So first up, we have this night sky quilt. Now this night sky quilt, we're gonna step out in a little bit. And this is made up of diamonds and half triangles. So you can get everything that you need uh, with a sidekick or super sidekick ruler. Also in all of Julie's patterns, I just dropped this on the floor, in all of Julie's patterns, she has the paper templates for making them in case if you didn't want to invest in the ruler. However, after you start making her things, you're gonna know, oh my goodness, I need that tool because I can do so many different things. She keeps on making all these amazing, amazing, amazing patterns. This quilt was made uh, back in 2013. It released at market and it used a bundle of Kona solids with a black background. That Kona pack is long gone, but we went ahead and we made a pack of 16 beautiful fabrics that have four purple, four blue, four green, and four orange red that are complimentary palette there so that you can work with those fabrics or work with these this color palette to make the quilt. You can see in each of the four color packs you make a positive and a negative. So you could also mix and match. So in the one that Julie Herman had decided she had made a palette that was more blendy and she had shared the pattern when it was coming out with Tula, and Tula had given her own spin on it. And this particular palette, this layout is designed by Tula. This particular quilt was recreated by Julie Herman in, so that she had a version for herself. And you can see in this version that Tula decided to mix it up. So she didn't keep four fabrics of the same color family together, okay? She mixed and matched so that we had gray and green with a little bit of aqua in there. Here we have the, the teal with the purples, okay? And then in this one here, we give a pop of orange. But you can still see that with these patterns, you have the positive and the negative here. But this one, she, she decided she wanted to switch it up. And so to have the block be a little bit different, all these four fabrics are the same fabrics over here, but this gray is still in that inside diamond in both. So depending on how you're going to put it together, you can play so that you have four unique stars, or you could play that you have pairs of stars. Each fat quarter group, so if you have four fat quarters, it does make four stars that you can mix and match however you choose. Thank you, Frank. The next quilt that I'm going to show you is one of the mini quilts, and these are from the, so this one here, the mini quilt first, came with this trunk show, and this is the Rock Candy, this debuted in 2013, and this is one of the small patterns that she has. So it's really a small, easy to finish project. One of the things with her patterns are that there's no Y seams, so she has you put all of these together in rows and uh, really easy to construct. So this is Rock Candy. And then we have a couple that were initially introduced using traditional fabric and regular rulers. 
but then we had expanded them for fussy cutting rulers. So candy dish here is made with the hex and more, but it can also be used with the fussy cutting shapes. So if you're gonna fussy cut, this happens to be the tiny beast line, which you'll be happy to know, we not only still have, but we put together these special fatty bundles of all 14 fabrics here so that you can make this and this. <gasps> Ooh, so this one is a different version of rock candy, cut, fussy cut. And so Frank, can you hold up that rock candy next to me? So that rock candy, can you see how, well, I'll mark, move over a little bit this way. So this one, I have a ring of background in the inside. And this one has just a mosaic of beautiful different solids. <gasps> Ooh, ah, so pretty. And then this one here is a pillow. You could also make it as a top if you had wanted to. So this one uses the fussy cutting shapes. That one does not. You could also mark your hex and more ruler or your super sidekick, depending on what tool you're using, to be able to have a fussy cut in it. But it's just so much easier if you have that little tool with, cent with the X marks the spot in order to find your shapes. So in the, I'm going to find you the link here. I put together a collection of things that I'm showing you on the front page of our website that has not only the patterns and tools, but also the fabric packs that I'm sharing with you. So we have um, technically one folded ready to go. We have 12 cut that need to be packaged, but one ready to go. So I've marked it so that you would be able to oversell it, but know that we'd be able to have it to you tomorrow. It's just that it's not folded and tied pretty. Okay, tonight, but tomorrow it will be. Next up in the fussy cutting world, what came with this trunk show was the rock candy. And Frank's going to hold this one for us. The rock candy we have on order. Let me get my little binder here. And that pattern has been around for a little bit. That's what did I call it? It's cookie cutter. It's cookie cutter. I have no idea what I just called it. This is cookie cutter. It was originally designed and shared with a little color wheel exercise. I love that these are multi-sized as well. And this is using um, a long gone fabric line. However, you can do this with the fussy cutting shapes just like the rock candy and you can fussy cut whatever you'd like. You can make all of the rings be identical or you could mix it up and have each of the rings be unique. All sorts of fun options that you could play around with. Then we get into some alphabet soup. So currently Julie Herman is doing an alphabet soup quilt along. Now if you don't follow her YouTube channel, you will want to make sure to check that out. So I'm including a link here. And she has tutorials for a lot of the stuff that she's doing. So this one here, now keep in mind, don't be super sad. I know you're going to be sad that we have uh, some of these items in the trunk show are outdated fabrics. So this is from the homemade line. You can spell anything that you'd like. The book we have in stock. So the books are priced $29.95. The standard patterns like this are $12. And the small patterns are $7.50. So the $7.50 patterns are a single block or pillow. The patterns that are this size are typically multi-sized. So like Night Sky is baby through king. Some of the other ones 
might be just lap and queen or something like that but um and then the books give you all sorts of amazing options for making things individual as samplers or different projects okay so super fun we have two more other examples of what you might want to do for your alphabet soup so the cut pin sew make and quilt can you back up just a little frank without knocking everything down do, 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 do. isn't that one cool so i think this particular example is one that julie herman had used um, in her as an example in her sew along and then we have one final one. <gasps> oh, and this one was so much fun when we had this fabric. Um, it is quite intriguing. It is from the Star Wars collection. And just in time for the 4th of May, may the force be with you. So we don't have all of these fabrics, but you could still have a lot of fun with some grayscale things. Some of you might have those fabrics in your stash and are just waiting for a fun piece. You could also make a full quilt and then just simply have a banner with a name or a word, all sorts of fun and exciting things. So you're going to wanna make sure to stop in and check out those quilts. We'll have those quilts available in store through the month of May. A quilt that I don't have a sample for, but is her latest pattern is Telescope. And Telescope features Tula's latest collection, Everglow. And we do have uh, bundles available. We have it kitted on our website. The Lap size takes a fat quarter bundle of all prints of the neons and Everglow animals, as well as the fairy flake in black. And the kit includes the black and white striped binding. The queen size is the half yard collection with the combo. So the half yard looks just like this. We still have lots of yardage available of the collection as well. Uh, we did uh, run out of the hippos in green. Don't worry, we have everything on reorder. Uh, we are expecting our reorder to ship June, end of June, early July. If there's things that you want, make sure to get your orders in as those Everglow Hero animals are going to be um, a limited release and they are not a continuing fabric. And just since we were talking Everglow, we have a few of the small spool thread boxes available in store for you. And you'll wanna be able to pick these up sooner than later. In June, I believe, is when they will be shipping the three pack of the large spool collections of those. And we do have a list set for that as well. All right, just gonna quick scan. Let me know if you have any questions, all sorts of really amazing things in store. All right, um, with the, so, in a different episode, we are going to be doing a little bit more detail on the step out of the, how to go about constructing the night sky block. Uh, we are working on a quilt that is going to be using a Robin Pickens collection. Ooh, ah, oh, look at these beautiful colors. And then what we'll be doing with that is that we will be having a step out tutorial for you to be able to show you just how fun and easy it is to make the blocks in order to make this quilt. So if you're excited, make sure to pick up all of your tools along the way. And if you had a pattern that you had wanted to be working on that was not one of the ones that we're featuring in the store, hop on over to Julie Herman's 
YouTube channel because she has great resources and that are easily indexed that show you how to use all of her tools and navigate through her patterns. So who's ready to see the bundle of the week? Okay, I'm just gonna clear off some stuff and then I'm gonna show you. And now it's time for the bundle of the week. So check out here these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blues that we have for you. Super fun. The bundle of the week here is this blue, beautiful background. They're traditional prints from a variety of different designers. With our bundle of the week, it is 12 fat quarters curated by myself. And rather than being $39, it is specially priced at $24.99 while supplies last. So here is the link. Oh, and I forgot I have it set up so that I can show you the code. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Ooh, ah. So you can take the QR code, you can do that, but look at this, isn't this beautiful? So we have the lights, darks, combination of all sorts of beautiful fabrics. This all happens to be uh, from Moda Fabrics. So I see a, quite a few of you love this bundle. You'll want to make sure you scoop it up sooner than later. These are all limited edition. When they are gone, they are gone. And if you had wanted to, a little trick for those of you that sometimes, I mean, because I love that you are able to watch us, but sometimes you're not able to watch me live. And what you want to do if you're not able to catch us live is go onto our website at seven o'clock on a Thursday and check that bundle of the week if you aren't able to watch us live. But of course, you always want to watch us live, but when life won't let you, check out what I have to show you to make sure um, if you had wanted what I have, that you're able to scoop it up for yourself. Okay. Oh, I can call it the Le Leanne Rhymes Bundle Blue. I was going to start singing, actually, Joe. So you just, we're like on the same wavelength. I just love it. <laughs> so guess what? We are coming to like the season where my favorite holiday of the year fabric is starting to show up. How awesome is that? So this particular fabric collection is called Witch's Night Out by Hen for Henry Glass. It is by, who is it by? It is by Daphne Nesbitt, I think, or I, it is, here. So I have the collection for you right there. And let's take a peek at our fabrics. So we put all of the pieces together here. So this particular bundle has 14, 14 pieces in it. Let me see. 11. It has 11. Okay. So there's 11 beautiful fabrics. Ooh. Ah, oh, look at these little skulls. Look at them. They're like so cute. They're not scary. They're cute. 
And then we have that. Ooh. Little happy dancing skeletons. Do, 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 do. We have the ghosts dancing in the banner. There's this stripe, border stripe here. Let's look at the border stripe. Delphine, Delphine Kubit. All right. And then it does come with a panel. So, Frank, let's look up and we'll check out the panel here. So the panel is a 24-inch repeat. Dun, dun, dun. So you can see that you could use this element here and frame it and cut these out and do something else with it. Or you could simply use it as a whole piece. So that's a 24-inch repeat. And I do have a pattern to share with you, a free and downloadable pattern uh, for a banner as well as a set of placemats. So let me show you what that looks like. Let me see here. I can share it with you. Dun, dun, dun. Here it is. And click the magic of television. Okay, so here we go. This is the Witch's Night Out. It is a project sheet that's available for download. I'll include the link if I haven't already. And you can make the large banner and four placemats. If you need us to kit it up, just let me know because I'd be more than happy to kit it up for you. I don't necessarily have, I have the modern Melody Basics, and for any of the twinkle fabrics that I may not have, we of course have other beautiful blenders in the store that I'd be able to pair up for you. So let us know if you had needed this kitted up. I love that there are some great projects that we are able to share with you. I love that, that Roberta says, it's never too early for Halloween. That is the truth, right? Halloween all year long. So for those of you who are newer to our shop, just know we carry seasonal fabric all year long. And some of it is in the regular price area. Some of it ends up in the sale room as we cycle through the holidays. But we know that you quilt for babies, graduations, weddings, holidays, and then for decor. But holidays is really, really an important time that we sew. And so we have a lot of Christmas all year long, a lot of Halloween all year long. We try to get that Valentine, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, 4th of July. We've even been known to have Mardi Gras fabric from time to time. We have our autumnal Thanksgiving fabric, all sorts of great things because we know that you like to sew for the seasons. So we've got you covered. All right, so that is Witch's Night Out. Even though I don't quite know why it's called Witch's Night Out, if there's only one piece of fabric that has really any witch in it. Don't know. I don't make the fabric. I don't name it. I just sell it. Then we have another super cute line. This is from Lewis and Irene. And Lewis and Irene is a fabric manufacturer that is based out of England. We don't carry a ton of Lewis and Irene, but the things that we do pick up, I think are super amazing and cute. Uh, so this particular line has a couple pieces that have the glow. The base pieces that are in this fat quarter bundle that I'm sharing with you, most of it that's on the yard does not have that um, glow. And then I'll show you the pieces that do. So Frank, let's look overhead. We have some planets. And there's several different colorways of the planets. So with Lewis and Irene, I'm not sure if Lewis and Irene are the actual names of the owners or if they're designers or whatnot. 
but on the story of this particular page, look at these astronauts floating in space. Isn't that awesome? Um, they had said that they had done their grandson's room in the first version of this fabric, and it was so amazingly popular that they had to do it again, but do it bigger. So, super great. So I love here that it is some fabrics that can work for not only younger kids, but it can go older, okay, because it's not super, super cute. So I love that we have that. So we have some the grays, we have some blues. These stars are probably going to end up in Christmas because, I mean, just look at those good stars. You can work them all together, or you can end up tightening up the line. And then we have some charcoal background going into black. So 14 pieces in this fabric range. We have two extra pieces. We have the we have the for the extra pieces. We have a panel. Let me share this collection with you here. There's fifteen. There's fifteen. I just can't count. Huh? You can't trust me. All right, so we have a panel here. Frank, let's look at the panel. So this panel does have the glow feature. This is a full yard. Peek! Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> this has the full yard with a fabric. So let me get the actual ruler here. Make sure I don't knock everything over. Okay, so here to here, 17 inch square, all right, to the outside. So the element is 15 and a half. It's called a cushion panel, and I call it the pillow panel, so because they're British, but you could also cut these up and use them in wall hangings. You could frame them out and have them be as part of a quilt. And all of these are four different ones that appear within the set. The panel is a little bit more expensive as it does have the glow-in-the-dark elements in it. The panel is $14.96, but isn't this spectacular? I think it is just a great statement piece that um, is worth that little bit extra investment. In that piece, so Frank's going to continue to hold that up. There is also a double border. And what do we mean by double border? It means it's the same on the front and the back. So it's a border to center, center to border. This also has the glow elements in it. And this has the repeat of the solar system. So super fun, super cool. If I open it up, you can see the repeat. And so you can use it as a border, or you could use it as a backing. You could cut it up and use part of it as a border, and then do all sorts of really fun imagining, imaginative things. Now, this particular border-to-border -border print also has the glow element, so it is $14.96 a yard. But the other pieces are don't have the glow elements and are at a lower price point. Okay, so I gave that one does not have any free patterns that go along with it. I think you could do some really amazing things. You could you could do something as simple as a yellow brick road to something more elaborate. So lots and lots and lots of fun things there. All right. 
Now, so that is the new fabric that I have to share with you. We have more stuff to tell you. So um, as I'm cleaning this up, I just want to remind those of you that are joining us that we are going to be having our Skinny Bolt sale for April tomorrow night. So that's going to be Friday the 28th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be posting the link that will have, I think we have over 150 different pieces from really great things off the color wall to some leftovers from the sale room. Super awesome, great deals, and who knows what other amazing finds that might pop up in there. So you're gonna wanna make sure to tune in as well as check out that section. We do have, uh, we will be setting up on that front page of our website, right where our bundle of the week is in that position, that will have the Skinny Bolt sale and that will go live at seven o'clock tomorrow. So the way our Skinny Bolt sale works is that everything that's going to be shown is going to be live in the collection as soon as we go live, okay? So rather than um, it item by item going live. But we will show you all the good stuff. All right, so it is time to share with you the next installment of Glimmer and Gleam. So Heidi has worked on segment four of Glimmer and Gleam. So Glimmer and Gleam is this great block of the month. We had uh, been gung-ho starting and sharing it with you and letting you buy it in January. We did run out of kits. We are waiting on some backups of the grunge. We are expecting replenishment um, June, right, Frank, June? The website currently says June, whatever that means. And as soon as we get those back in stock, we will also be doing a refresh of it so that if those of you had wanted, who thought this was exciting and wanted to start, um, let us know because we'll be able to hook you up with full kits. So, I love this pattern because it takes you through some fundamental shapes <clears throat> and it is uh, taking, putting a sampler together with blocks of different sizes. So that is just a very interesting thing, uh, interesting take on a sampler. So Frank, let's look overhead. I'm going to lay out the blocks and take a sip of water been talking a lot. So you can see that you can see that we have five different stars and one of the stars has the non-background corner square, okay? So a very fun take of color, st st color story on a star like that. I am going to share with you the tutorial page on the Moda website where Sarah Maxwell, the fabric designer, pattern designer, has gone ahead and shares some tips and tricks. So over on here, I'm sharing my screen with you, and you can see on the Glimmer and Gleam installment for tutorial, welcome back. There's still time to join in, um, so you can, we have the patterns in stock, and we will be continuing to be able to provide kits to you as soon as the other the background fabrics are available. We're working with six great grunge colors as well as the background for the main blocks. You're going to be making some flying geese. And the flying geese are used around the star block. And then she just shares with you how she is putting them together 
so you can see how beautiful that is, as well as seeing the fun star block with the accent cornerstones, which makes it look like a different block altogether. This also has the easy links for the earlier steps of one, two, and three. So how many of you are working on the Glimmer and Gleam? Are any of you working on it right now? I have seen one of them already go to Angie for quilting, and I'll have to share those pictures with you. Super awesome. You can use the rainbow colors uh, like I'm using and like Sarah's using in her kit, but uh, this is totally suitable to use whatever fabric that you like, and if you have a collection that you love, 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 by all means, go ahead and make a quilt with whatever fabric appeals to you, and you'll get a whole different looking quilt. So every month when you're making the focus blocks, you're also making your fillers so that you don't have a ton of homework at the end. But if you'd be like me, you'd leave all of your filler to do later and just chain piece it all at the same time. But you know, they're trying to pace us along so that we don't have, so that we don't feel overwhelmed and that actually probably is a good thing by breaking everything down into bite-sized chunks so that you can get things done and feel accomplished without feeling overwhelmed because quilting should never make you feel overwhelmed. It should bring you joy and we hope that we're able to bring some of that to you in your quilting projects. Well, I think this brings us to the end of the amazing things that I have to show you today. So as a recap, we talked about the amazing, amazing color collage two fabrics. We have these bolted. There's 11 different prints. They're just so, so amazing. You're going to have to see them in person because they're just, they're just delicious. We had the Julie Herman trunk show that had the night sky. And we are going to be making our own night sky with our Robin Pickens palette, which is super, super yummy. We are going to be featuring the Fussy Cutting Shapes trunk show in our store for the month of May. You'll want to make sure to stop in and see that. If you're looking for the cookie cutter uh, pattern, we do offer it as a pre-order on our website. Uh, because we are currently out of it on in we are currently out of it in stock, but we are replenishing that supply. We have that great tiny beast fat eighth bundle. If you wanted to have the 14 pieces in the combination to make the candy dish and rock candy combo, you also could use this particular stack to make a cookie cutter. I believe there are, I don't know how many wedges there are off the top of my head. I should know, but I don't. And I think there's 16, 16, that would make sense. Four, 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 yes, four. So you could add a couple other ones in order to have your 16 to go around. And then, we showed you the Great Witches Night Out fabric, which had the super fun partying skeletons, do, 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 as well as the Great Space Glow fabrics, super, super awesome. And then we shared with you the bundle of the week. So I'm just going to lay that out so that we can make sure that that is the fabrics that you get to see as we fade out of our presentation. So does anyone have any questions for me tonight? I am so, so thankful that you joined us. I am always happy and excited to see 
all of your comments and likes along the way. You're going to want to make sure that you tune in tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for our skinny bolt sale because we have a lot of really amazing deals and steals for you. Anything that's left over from the skinny bolt sale will be available in store for purchase and um, that you can look at. It may not all be on the floor on Saturday morning. Just let us know that you want to look at it and then uh, all of the leftovers after that as we're able to get bagged and tagged and put on the table of chaos for you to be able to check out. Now tomorrow we will be also putting out a few other items on our table of chaos. Um, we do have some six yard bundles on there that are not online. So for those of you that shop in store, there's extra fun treats for you. And um, who knows what else we might be putting on the table of chaos and fun and steals and deals. I probably shouldn't call it that. All right, well, I thank you again. Happy quilting, and we'll see you tomorrow night for our skinny bolt sale.